Hi, I decided to um, video some um, part of my new project, uh, which consists of ESD or ESP32, uh, RS2, well, RS485 to Modbus, and uh, temperatures and controller, uh, SDM630, um, parameter, Raspberry Pi, and what else? The LCD, next gen LCD and no dread um, so um, yeah you might, you might find it interesting um, so basically I've got two ES, ES, ESP32 that get controlled by this headless uh, Pi and one for controlling although the whole idea is this is a uh, part of a three phase load generator so one is to one of the ES, ESP32 is to, to load to generate a load and the other one is a supervisory control um, so in this case this uh, ESP32 talks to this both um, temperature sensor or temperature controllers and the SDM630 through Modbus as you can see I shorted all the voltages so they all get this they should get all the same input voltage and I'm reading it through RS, RS45 or Modbus through here and as you can see this the Modbus module is pretty busy uh, so they're all working nicely um, and so I also decided to put a uh, phasor diagram here um, the values are just simulated um, I've got for one dedicated core just for the waveform here on my ESP32 core 1 so to, to, to generate that um, basically just if the load goes up and down it follows it uh, same as the current and same as the phase angle between them so good educational tool and the bottom of the uh, temperature sensors um, so same as here this is actually live it's working now um, so the idea was uh, trying to make one to read the uh, reference voltage reference meter which in this case I'm using that even though it's just a class one uh, but at least the, uh, the, the concept will prove the concept and so then I'll read the, um, the meter of the test and then I generate the error percentage on the bottom and so the operator could just print them etc and then have a look one meter smart meter at a time um, the, uh, the way I generate the, um, the graph here um, just basically I'll use word and just take the image um, take it to paint and use uh, to resize it I'll use, just use 480 you know, choose pixel and 480 by 320 and save it as an image and then um, from your next gen you just load it and um, have them like that so that was working nicely um, so anyway um, when I come out in the second part etc I would add it in as you can see also I'm using uh, the um, solid state uh, hard drive instead of uh, the SD card even though SD is here just for boot but I probably don't even need that um, so the idea with this also the, the temperature sensor was for me to use uh, each one of them on my VT and CTs of my uh, uh, load, con load generator to see if it gets really hot so I can turn the uh, fan on and off here or etc so yeah, so that's it for now. Thank you.